Okay, so this one is about the Fender GTX amplifier series. Should I get the Fender GTX 50 or the GTX 100? Um, if you don't know, it's a great modeling amp, maybe one of the leading or the leading digital and modeling amp out there. Um, it's really terrific. Fender fixed some issues from the past. Uh, the GT40 kind of series was, you know, 40 and their different amp sizes was just not that great. And they made it better with the GTX. And I've got a ton of videos so if you want to check out anything. I personally own the GTX 50. And um, if you ask most anybody on message boards and forums or Facebook or whatever, groups like that, almost everybody, you know, it's like 9 to nine to 1. If you ask 10 people, they'll say get the GTX 100, 100 because it comes with the foot switch already. Um, and it has a bigger cabinet, more watts, and, you know, bigger, more power. And where you get into a lot of debate is the tone. As far as price goes, um, you know, if you buy the GTX 50 and then buy the uh, GTX 7 foot switch, uh, I think I can show it down there. That's the GTX 7 foot switch way on the left, not the red one. Um, it's a great option. Again, I've got a bunch of videos on my channel about that. Uh, the red one is the um, boss uh, looper I've got. But if you ignore the red one, the GTX 7 foot switch is awesome, but if you buy that separately and the 50, I think you come out, you know, these days, 30, 40, 50 bucks less US. Um, so price to me is, you know, pretty close, but um, as far as the the cabinet and the size, the, the 100 is, um, you know, three or four inches taller and wider, a little bit heavier, don't worry about weight. Um, so size isn't that big of a deal. Um, but as far as tone goes, I can't tell the difference. I've had them both, and I can't tell the difference at home. I mean, maybe if you're cranking it and you really have that discerning ear or whatever. So I would say it comes down to are you um, live loop? I'm um, sorry, are you gigging out? Are you playing with a band? And if so, the 100 is the hands down choice. But if you absolutely positively know that all you're doing is playing at home or doing YouTube stuff like this, the 50 is perfect to me. I actually like it better. It's just a little bit smaller. Um, I usually, you know, have the speaker muted and I run stuff out here into this uh, setup right here. For example, um, got this acoustic guitar going on. Really nice acoustic sound and you can switch over to, you know, electric and hard rock or I even have a bass tone and all that. So to me, the 50 is the way to go. I don't really worry about any of those other things. If you only positively play at home, but there's a chance you're going to be in a band or a gig, go with the 100. All right, let's see what's next.